So let me introduce you to the Red Rotor lap timing system uh, that integrates with the ROSD to give you lap times in real time while you're flying. There's three parts to the system. The first is this base station IR emitter. This is an extension unit that comes with it. Now I've got it hooked up here with a little, just a little 10 inch servo lead, six inch or whatever, servo lead. But the intention is that it would be installed about uh, two to three feet above the other one so you could get a little bit more spread out coverage and be more likely to register when you pass the gate okay and you can actually daisy chain as many of these as you need to so if if you wanted to you could buy additional ones of these and just add them one after the other after the other to to spread out as much coverage as you needed and then the third part is this sensor which you can see i've got installed on my copter and the intention, uh, you could install it any way that works for you. Uh, the way that uh, it's demonstrated on Red Rotor's site is it's actually installed on top of a standoff, okay? And that might be a little more secure than the way I've got it here, but you can see that on my, on my 210, I don't have a standoff right here. I kind of didn't want to install it all the way on the back. I don't know why, I just, this is in the way, and eh, I don't know. I didn't want to install it on the front. I was a little bit worried about maybe some shadowing from the motor. I, I don't know. So anyway, I thought this was a good place and I just put an additional little standoff here on top of my of my uh, stack and uh, and a, a screw down in from the top to, to hold it on. Okay, so that's looking out. It needs five volt power. So you can just get that from any convenient five volt location off your board, off your setup, you know, however you want to do that. And then the signal wire goes into the ROSD. It's a little hard to see here, but it's gonna go into the back, bottom left. Yeah, there's no way you can even see that. <laughs> it plugs into the ROSD. Okay, so then this gets its power from a 2S battery. And uh, the ROSD manual says that a 1000 milliamp hour 2S can power it for like 30 hours. So, you know, don't sweat that. <laughs> it just plugs straight in and it powers up and it's good to go. Now, this kind of lap timing system, it's not like a lap timing system that you may be familiar with where uh, the lap timer, it integrates with a laptop at the, the finish line and tracks all the pilots lap times for like a leaderboard and each pilot needs to have their own transponder code so that the system can tell when they've passed the gate and so on and so on and so on. That's a different thing. The purpose of this is more to let you see your lap times for your own personal use while you're practicing, uh, while you're while you're warming up at, at the race, etc, etc. And so if you have a bunch of pilots and they're all racing, if you wanted to compare your lap times, you would just need to look at each other's OSD. Okay, there's not going to be any central location where all the pilots' lap times will be collated for like a leaderboard. And that, that could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your needs. It's a good thing because you don't need a laptop. You don't need anything. All you need is a 2S battery and you stick this thing on a pole somewhere near your finish line and you go fly, right? So if for you personally as a pilot, you're not going to take a laptop out to the field. You're not going to need to do any complicated configuration of everybody's transponders. You can fly as many pilots as you want off of this one base station. Everybody keeps track of their own lap times. And that's, that has its own advantages depending on, on what your needs might be. In keeping with Red Rotor's uh, design philosophy, which seems to be it may not have some of the functionality of some of the other products that are out there, but on the other hand, you just plug it in and it works and you go, right? Uh, and also, you know, this is like, it's 40 bucks for this base station, this extension module, and this emitter. And then, uh, so that's a lot cheaper. There's, there's other systems out there where you have to build your own module, or if you want to buy a module, the module itself might be 20 or 30 bucks, you know, so it's, it's, it can be pretty expensive. This is a very simple system. I think it, if you were running, uh, if you were running like multi GP races, this might not be the perfect thing for you. You might want something with the transponder, uh, on the copter and the sensor at the, at the finish line that keeps all the lap times for, for records and for leaderboards. But for, for many club flyers and for pilots who are just practicing in your own, you know how hard it is for me when I do a, a video and I have to go back through and I have to check the lap times by looking at the video frames 
and I just find the video frame where I fly over the finish line and I mark the timestamp and then I fast forward to the next lap and I find the next frame, how hard that is, right? And I even have a video on my channel where I set up a, a kind of a pseudo stopwatch using the Tyrannus where I have to flip the switch each time I fly over the stop line, right? And then I have to, the Tyrannus reads out the time to me, 10.9 seconds. This is way better than that, okay? So I think that's the niche that this is going to fit. Let me show you what it looks like on the OSD. So when you've got this transponder plugged in and then you power up the OSD, you will get some additional lines on the OSD, which you can see now. Uh, you can see that you've got a lap number, you've got a current lap time, and you've got the current best lap time, which is currently showing 999.9. .9. Then, of course, as soon as you put in a lap, It'll go back, it'll go to another uh, value. So now I'm going to plug in the IR emitter. And there's a little bit of a, this thing is powerful enough. Like it, what I'm told by Red Rotor is that on a sunny day, a very sunny day, this will have a range of about 15 feet, which should be more than enough to catch anybody going through an air gate. On a cloudy day or indoors, it'll have a range of maybe 40 or 50 feet. And in a small room like this one, there's so much bounce, the infrared has so much bounce, that it like just is constantly triggering the sensor almost no matter what I do. So I'm going to try and make a good demo for you, but there's going to be some spurious reading because this thing is just bouncing off the walls everywhere. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold it in my hand, so it should be completely blocked off, and I'm going to plug it in, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so you can see already it's triggered, and it's timing, even though I had it covered. I just was let a little bit leak out of my hand. Okay, now I'm going to see if I can trigger it again. There, there was one more lap, and now it's back in my hand. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing. Oh, see, as soon as I move my hand even near it, even with my hand closed, there's enough stuff leaking out of there that it's triggering laps. But hopefully you get the idea. I'm going to, I've got my hand like under my desk, so trying to hide the infrared as much as possible. I'm going to open it up again. There we go. It's got this nice LED on it that tells you when it's sensing the emitter. See, it helps you with troubleshooting. I'm going to open my hand again. There you go. See, there's another lap. Okay, so, so there you go. That's, that's how it works. It's simple. It's cheap. It's effective. It's quick to set up. And that's, that's really what we're going for here. Uh, and I think if you're practicing your laps, having something like this to tell you whether you're going faster or slower can be really beneficial. Okay? Can't get faster if you don't know what your lap times are. So... There you go. There is a quick little intro to the Red Rotor OSD lap timer system. Now, of course, what's missing here is a flight video, right? How can, well, it's raining outside right now. So no flight video yet. That'll be, I'll put that up in another video. But I just wanted to give you guys as quick an intro to this system as I could so you can get the gist of it uh, and, and get a sense for how it's going to work. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And as always, happy flying.